Hurricane season is one month away. For dozens of neighbors in the Gervais community, they still feel the impacts of Hurricane Florence. Neighbors say no one has returned to the community after they were forced to vacate. Now, neighbors are gathering just to ask the city for help. Iron Jude James is hearing from neighbors and community officials and joins us in studio with their story. Amanda, a spokesperson for Gervais, only would tell me that they are working to get the units repaired. For neighbors I heard from, that answer is all they've heard for months, and for them, that's not good enough. We are still in the fight of our lives. Vacated apartments still remain in Wilmington's Gervais housing complex. Neighbors now taking the fight before Wilmington city leaders. We're still getting the same answer, but it's more or less I don't know now. Aquanetta McNeil has called Gervais home since it was built 15 years ago. She now has to call Columbus County home, months later than what she and other neighbors initially heard from complex officials. We've been left, um, just left out and right, and this is like nobody cares what happens. McNeil and other neighbors are at their wit's end. They're now seeking help from community leaders. They told us about they couldn't find their personal items and one lady expressed that she's thinking about killing herself and all this, so it was just horrendous. E.B. Davis Sr. and other Democratic Party leaders reached out to city council. Councilman Kevin O'Grady confirms with me the community's owner, Telus's Corporation, has responded to the city. They informed the city that some residents may be able to return in June. My sense of it is they're dealing with the same problems that our local residents are dealing with in trying to get the insurance money so that the, they can get their houses repaired. It's the housing outside of Gervais as well. That's another problem McNeil challenges Wilmington city leaders on. She says the issue of affordable housing has to be resolved. We live here. We've lived here most of our lives. We work here and we want to be treated fairly just like everybody else. Now that spokesperson for Gervais Communities told me she was not aware of any delays impacting the repairs. However, in that information given to the city by Telesis, they say insurance coverage is still pending on repairs to the Gervais Community Center. Amanda. 